Hey guys, what's up? H. Demarzel here with the Tech Cruiser channel. All kinds of new stuff going on. Google and iPhone and all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first and most major thing is I've switched my web browser back to Safari. And the main reason is uh, I read an article about a guy who had switched from Google Chrome um, and had tried a whole plethora of different ones, Opera, Firefox, uh, all just all different kinds. And the reason is because um, Google Chrome was taking up a whole lot of resources on its computer, which is generally true. Um, on my screen up here, I have a uh, free download that monitors how much free RAM is available on my system. And anytime you want, you can free up unused RAM. And while using Google Chrome, that would drop to very, very low levels, and you would start to notice the computer kind of lag and stutter a little bit. Not huge, but you'd notice it. Since switching to Safari, I've noticed a significant drop in resource usage uh, just in switch, just in using the main browser as Safari. Uh, so that's the first thing. Uh, there still is no um, way to have favorite icons. It's all text-based. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually starting to get used to it. Uh, you may think, no, he's crazy. I must have my favorite icons. And believe me, I was definitely in that arena of uh, identifying all of my favorites by their favorite icons. However, uh, I have gr grown pretty comfortable with the text-based ones. Uh, you, you can give them custom names, like Lifehacker is LH, and I know that as Lifehacker. Um, and you can give them custom names and custom labels to quickly identify them and save a little bit of space. Um, it's, I'm noticing it's a little bit quicker. Uh, again, that's going to depend on your individual setup, your individual system. For me, on my system, uh, it's a MacBook Pro. Uh, I have 8 gigs of RAM running uh, 10.83. I believe the most recent one 10.83 so it is a little bit quicker it loads sites a little bit quicker once it you know builds up a, a cookie li cookie library it's it just speeds right through um, your uh, any links that you're clicking through or any sites that you're clicking through the other huge thing uh, that has been announced not too long ago was Google now is available for iOS. And I was playing around with it a little bit today. We'll go ahead and uh, see if we can give you a preview of it right here on the screen. We'll minimize that. And see if we can't bring up my phone, my iPhone. And there is my iPhone. And Google Now, it comes up as, you're not gonna search for Google Now in the uh, App Store, in the iTunes App Store, it's not gonna show up. Search for Google, it's the blue G in the square, that's the uh, the icon. It's Google Search and it's revamped, is another way to look at it. It's a, a redone Google Search app. So once you launch it, it's gonna prompt you to uh, log into your Google account, uh, your Gmail account. Once you do, you're brought up with this screen, and you get these. They're called cards. They're calling them cards um, with pertinent information, travel information, quickest way to get to and from wherever you're going, uh, temperature, and if you want to get rid of them, all you do is you swipe them to the side. Uh, and you can load up other ones. You can, there's some sample ones that you can load, and they give you some examples down here of ones that you can load up. Uh, currency, 
different language translations, um, and it's all based on um, what you've done. If you've uh, if you have a flight booked and the confirmation is in your email, that will show up there. Um, if you are traveling, you're using Google Maps, uh, this card will show up there. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different options. And of course, you can search for anything, type it in, or you can search via voice. Iron Man 3 trailer. And depending on your connection, it's could be very slow. I haven't tried it on a non-Wi-Fi um, connection yet, but uh, on Wi-Fi you can see it's very, very fast. Uh, what's another movie that uh, is coming out? Recent Star Trek movies. Here are movies frequently mentioned on the web. And it's a pretty good. Um, I'm going to try this out while I'm not on Wi-Fi to see how uh, how quick and response it is how uh how i know it's cool right my cat maggie's uh very very excited about google now and she is downloading it right now so she can get directions and all kinds of other stuff that it offers i know we're telling them about it right now um so anything that you want to uh, to look at um on the web you can very quickly and easily search by just talking to um, to your phone iPhone rumors so that's kinda cool it on the fly corrected what it heard or what it was displaying based upon what was being listened to uh, so that is very very cool and Back to the home screen. Now the the goggles thing, I haven't really uh, gotten a chance to test it out. We'll see if it'll recognize anything. Google Goggles, if you're not familiar with it, is an app where you can search for things um, based upon a picture. And I've been having having some trouble uh, with that today, trying to get it to work. Ah, finally. Okay, so it, I guess it needs some text to go ahead and do that. We'll try it again just to test that theory. It needs some kind of uh, font to go ahead and, and pull up those results. Uh, but it is kind of cool. It's a pretty sweet um, interface. It's basically like an OS within your OS. Um, if you go into the apps, there's the web apps, which will launch uh, the services via the web, or anything that's on your iPhone. Now, if you tap any one of these and it's not on your phone, it'll bring you to the App Store link where you can go ahead and download those apps, which is kind of cool. It's really fun. Uh, so that is Google Now. Quick run through. Uh, first impression is uh, I see this being very useful for somebody who is very deeply integrated into Google, uh, as I am with YouTube and my Gmail account. Uh, I don't really use it for anything else, so we'll see how that comes up with uh, like directions and other things, notifications. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if social media gets tied into that with Google Plus and whatnot. So go ahead and check it out. It came out very recently, a couple days ago. Um, everybody's kind of buzzing about it. So that's a fun app that you can do. Um, another one that I had also just found today is called Talkatone. Now, if you have a Gmail account, as many, many, many people do, you can um, make free calls via Wi-Fi to contacts in your phone book with this app. So we will try this out here. Try calling myself. Um, now this is using the app on Wi-Fi. So it says waiting for answer via Wi-Fi and it's
So if you have a Google Talk account and you want to go ahead and make some free phone calls, that's an amazing app for you. It's called Talk Tone. You can get it right in the App Store. Just browse on over to your App Store. I'll show you right now. Talk a tone. There it is. And there's other ones um, that are kind of equivalent using the same kind of thing, uh, VOIP. So that's kind of cool. Just a couple of new apps that we had found um, still on the iOS trend. Um, rumor is that Apple is going to go with what they're calling a flat interface. Uh, what that means exactly, I don't know, but the rumors that I've been reading are it's going to have um, a completely redesigned UI, new icons, kind of to draw in a newer crowd, uh, keep it fresh, keep you know, keep up competition with Windows Phone and uh, and Android phones with their kind of the way they do things to make it interesting. Because as you know, it's been the same interface on iPhone since 2007 when it first got released. Uh, it's been said many times before, we need to refresh it. We need something new. Uh, me personally, definitely looking forward to it. That's also why people jailbreak it, uh, their iPhones and iOS devices, to change the way it looks. So that's what we got today. Uh, some updates, some cool apps for you to check out. Give them a try. Let me know what you think. If you have substitutions or other apps that do the same thing of the apps that we've shown you today, let me know. Drop a line down below. I'll be happy to check them out and let you know what I think about those apps. So until next time, keep it real.